Oh, dang it all, Roger. Look at this. This damn truck didn't fix itself while it sat here. Jeez. I thought it would know what to do already. Yeah. And you guys know I don't hide things. We got Jack up and see what's going on here. Make a noise already. Less than 50 miles. <sighs> yeah. So. Yesterday, I should have been out here, but spent time with the family. Today's Father's Day, so with that, happy Father's Day, everybody. It's a little late in the day to be saying that, but I'm just finally getting my day going. <laughs> Wife wanted to do some stuff today, so we did that, and now we're out here to try and get this truck together. So I got to get tools. It's late in the day. We got to get busting on that truck. Because I need that truck tomorrow. So, alright. Okay, with my ball joint kit there, I've only had one minor change. And we're dealing with a four-wheel drive, 99 to 2006, four-wheel drive. And I had to use a different cup than what they said in order to get the lower ball joint out. Right now we're going after the upper one. So the remover we need is a 5A in the receiver 12A. So, uh, 5A and 12A. Number five. So, that will go up there. Okay. And I think the 12 is the one. Oh, that's going to work for the upper one. Okay. No, oh, Roger, here. Uh, Record me setting this up and we'll see what we can get done. So I want the screw to go down so that means it's gotta be like this. Oh yeah, and I gotta have this in there. <laughs> Almost forgot that piece. Kind of getting in a bind where I need the truck fast, so I don't know what, how much I'm gonna. Okay, I need just a little bit more. <laughs> Thing about stuff, tools, they don't give out on you. Oofed. Can't ro cameraman's Roger today. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully. Uh, let's try that with the long ratchet first. Okay. Oh, you dirty dog. Have that set there the whole time for the. I know I should find some wire and tie it down. There, I just felt it break loose, I think. Yep, it's moving, dirt's falling. There it is. That went easy. A lot easier than that Ford I did last year. That Ford last year, we bought that thing bad and bad. And I 
know, I'm driving some of you guys out there nuts. And there you go, one sloppy ball joint out. All right, I want to get a wire brush, clean up around these, and then uh, we're ready to start putting this side back together. So, alrighty. Okay, I just did a rookie. I forgot to uh, put the grease cert on first so I could aim that the proper direction. Everybody always says out the back, but out the front. It's just going to have to be fine because that's the way it is. That went in good. I know I didn't show you guys. I'll show you the next one because I'm still learning this kit because I've never had one this nice. So I'm learning that. Put that there so I don't lose it. So, and so far I have not used my impact gun that. I've had the Harbor Freight one of these. And we fought and fought and fought. And this thing is just boom, 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 boom. So, alright, I'm going to get the snap ring plier that I need. Get the snap ring on that. And that'll be good. Then we'll do the upper ball joint. Well, I'm pulling and pulling, and do you guys see a reason why I can uh, undo my snap ring pliers? Uh, oops. See? <sighs> yes, I broke down about a good set here, Roger. Just, you kind of be the cameraman. Can't get the kids out here to do it, so. Hey, that's better. So, <laughs> I guess we'll use these together. Oh, so, snap right here. Yeah, I've spoiled myself. I've got stuff that I've never had. Years ago, I would never attempted doing ball joints myself. I never had the best of luck. So, there's that. Yeah, now I gotta get this. Unfortunately, you gotta take the boot off. I'm press it on. And it's not popping back up like it's supposed to, so. Just had a thought here. There's a steel ring in there that. Hmm. Let's see what this for not too big. Nope. Oh, wait. Hmm. 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 What? I'm wondering if I could actually use that and press that on without it getting stuck. Because i got to think about that for a second. As that goes up, that's going to swell out. I know, guys. I'm just ad-libbing here. Probably even shouldn't be thinking about this, but... I get that seal into place so if this works. Yeah. Watch that seal, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> found a new way of doing that for me anyway other you're probably going yeah we knew about that all right bottom one's done so I'll get set up with the 
upper set and we'll do that <laughs> and uh, oh yeah I gotta lay this down otherwise if that ball joints in that won't go in so <laughs> yeah anyhow hey Roger hi bye <laughs> okay there's the receiver there's the installer and the jam thing so Hello, Roger. Oh, you guys are going hip. I knew that was going to happen. I got to replace that brick line, anyways. Really happy with. I'm just using a flexible half-inch drive brake uh, ratchet. <sighs> oh, come on, glasses. Let me look through the lens here. Hey, I'm here. Let me switch over to the... I just want to make sure that that's... Down. Ouch. Get a little longer lever. Just give her. Oh, yeah, right. Yep, I'd say that's down. We're about ready to put the spindle back on this side. And there. Like I said, I know, kind of stupid. I got one more side to do, but the problem is, I don't know if I want to tackle the other side tonight or just get this side done. I need to jack up the Tahoe and find out what's going on with that. Because it's making a little bit of noise. Oh, sure, stick your finger in the grease. <laughs> nope, 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 don't get carried away yet. Yep, we can get to it. Okay. Ouch. Now I'll use the camera. I'd say she's in. All right. Here you go, Roger. Did you get bit? I feel like it. That's that from you. That's no. Roger's just too sweet, I guess. Nope, let's see if we got, we're gonna get lucky enough to do that again. Too big. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna try that guy again, guys. Heck, they say they've redesigned these tools to make their jobs easier, so. I just figured out something nobody else has. I doubt that. You guys are all out there going, yeah, we knew that. Oh, 
Oh, that's not playing nice this time. Well, it didn't play nice. You gotta scratch that idea. Hopefully I didn't. Hmm. I wonder how the heck you were supposed to put those on. It looks like I destroyed that one, so heck, lesson learned. Don't always get lucky with everything. No way. I'm probably gonna have to steal the one from the other one now. That might have just determined my fate, and I might have just goofed. Hey. Oh no, I didn't goof. I just rolled the rubber off the. Okay, I didn't destroy it. It just come up off this little steel ring. But how in the heck are you supposed to get that little thing? Yep, I just... Hmm, how the heck? They just spin it, I guess, huh? <clears throat> All right, well, I'll fight with that and get it on. Okay, I goofed. There's a step there. That's bigger than what that... So that don't go all the way up. It just goes right to there and seal. So, sorry, my bad. I goofed. <sighs> I'm stressing, guys. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. There's my de-rusted and that knuckle. I thought about putting the wheel bearing on and doing it that way. But since I cleaned all the rust out of that, it fits very, very nice. So, instead of taking a chance of dragging the, the axle all over the seal, we're just going to... Yeah, guys, I think great things are going. We're just going to get this one side done, and I'm going to call it. Put this back together and do the other side another day, because my knees are shot. But, uh, all right. I got to find something long for Roger to put in there and push down so we can pull that together. So, all right. Yep, so glad I did not put this in. I tell you your aftermarket stuff not near as long because before that almost touched the boot I was like yeah so you don't have a lot of thread so it was kind of a pain then we had to search I ended up using a 27 millimeter for that one I'm like, holy crud so that's bigger than what I took off factory because I used my half inch drive metric impacts to take that one off and my sit don't go big enough for that one so now we're getting ready this is to the rough length so I got to get this up here here you go Roger I'll show him got her bud okay Okay. I better change. Now wait a second. How come that was out of whack? Hmm. What? I dang it, I don't know. Come 
Come on. So stiff I couldn't turn it before. Okay, where's that big ass wrench you brought out? That big inch and seven sixteenths. One. <laughs> That's what that says for, Roger. <laughs> Tighten this. You sure? <laughs> yep. It's my thirty dollar wrench I had to go buy yesterday. Oh. Or two days ago because we didn't get out here yesterday. We were in town all day yesterday. Yep. Come on. Crank on it pretty good, so yesterday. And I see I am going to have to, but as for time wise right now, guys, I'm going to have to just put this thing because you see it wiggles. So, okay, uh, I'm going to have to have Roger go grab a tape measure. I want to double check that length now since I inadvertently spit on that. So I relatively got it the same length, so and that way we'll where they at? Uh, I think there was one laying on that little table where we've been getting everything, Roger. So I'll be back. Okay, here comes the fun part. I just got that in there enough to hold it. So I'm gonna get this on. And uh then we'll have to go back and jam that nut. Torque that. The upper and lower has already been done. So I guess Roger, you can watch me put the wheel bearing on. See how much of a struggle that's going to be. Much easier with the rust gone. I had to beat on this for about five minutes to take it apart. Oh, come on, start. One of you. <laughs> and then this big nut on this goes to 177 foot pounds. That's according to this manufacturer. Nice. I know I should have had a got a ratchet wrench, but I'll get a socket and get these torqued and 
I gotta pop out the plastic retainer up there so I can put the Christmas tree in the hole up there for the ABS wire. And... But all I could say is I, I was going to show you guys, but I guess I forgot. Before we could just grab this spindle here and just rock it all over. Uh, right now it's taking Roger and I both to move the thing. So, oh, and I gotta find the grease gun and grease everything too. So. Anyway, I'll bring you back after we get this all torqued up and tightened, and we'll go from there. Okay, this is where I started out before. This is when I found out everything was loose on this side. Here, Roger, get me doing this last test one more time. Okay. Last time we grabbed this wheel and it went clunk, clunk. I barely can move it. But before we could go clunk, 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 clunk. And so. Look good that looks like. Well, I can't move it now, it's on the ground. Oh. The other side, when I had it up in the air, wasn't too bad. But so, between the ball joints and everything over here, and I guess if I drive it and the clunk's gone, I don't know if I want to do that other side right away. So, do you have to? Yeah. I thought I want to talk to my cousin about using this hoist. Anyway, well, I took it for a drive. She does better, but not better. I don't clunk as much when I turn. And uh, the problem is now the steering wheel is off. So, if that thing was aligned with the bad ball joints. Yeah, the alignment on this truck's going to be a long ways off. But I can tell you right now, I don't want to have to find somewhere to get that on a hoist to finish it. Because um, my legs and knees cannot take it anymore. So... Uh, we're picking up, and then I'm going to quick check the Tahoe quick to see what's going on with that. What the heck, Roger? <laughs> uh, One side does come out. Oh, okay. This side here. Okay. After it goes so far, you can... Ah, okay. It's like this thing. Yep, all right. Because it has a slot right here. Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought at first I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, well, we're going to get under the Tahoe quick and see what the hell's going on with that. Well, all I can say is it's man made, it can and will fail at the wrong dang time. I think it's the wheel bearing on the driver's side already. 60 miles. We put it up, we spun it, we wiggled it and that, and it's like nothing, but you, as soon as you start driving and put it under a load, you can hear the creak and the, yeah. Hey, I know some of you are going to go, oh, you get what you pay for. Well, lifetime warranty. So, um, yeah, I don't know why just my luck that's how it goes so and then I know I'm tired and I gotta quit doing this I impacted the lug nuts on the passenger side but I just sitting here thinking going back over what did y'all do blah 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 and guess what I forgot to do guys I forgot to finish torquing the lug nuts and put the hub cap on yeah so I don't know. I might call my cousin and see if he's around and I can get this hoist tomorrow. And then I'll load up the tools, go over there, change the pitman arm, the idler assembly, the other wheel bearing, and all that, and the ball joints. And uh, that way I can. It's just becoming too much for one person. 
And I want to keep going at this, but... It's getting tougher. Anyway, this is part two of I Ain't Sure How Many series, because I asked Roger what time we got here, and he told me it almost took me three hours to put that thing back together. But we had to go find a couple of sockets, and we had to do this, and it just seemed like it was going together fast, but not as fast as I thought it was, so I guess at least I can drive that one tonight and hopefully get done what I need to tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sorry about having such a crappy ending to the video, but I am shot, guys. And gals. I, don't, I can't forget you gals, too, so. Anyway, that was my Father's Day work, so. See you guys later. At least the truck's drivable. And this gray one back behind me. Um, I gotta get the training in that so I got a backup vehicle. So, anyway, talk to you later. I'm babbling.